Hi, this is Mrs. Rodriguez with another lesson video. Today we're going to look at how to do the distributive property when there's negatives and exponents involved. So before we can jump into the distributive property, we need to review how to work with negatives and exponents. So <clears throat> when you multiply or divide, if it's a positive times a positive, it equals a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. And two negatives make a positive. Or you can just remember that when you multiply or divide, if they have the same signs, then they're going to have a positive answer. So two positives equal a positive, or two negatives equal a positive. In contrast, if they have different signs, then you get a negative answer. So if one's positive and one's negative, your answer will be negative. So same signs positive, different signs negative. And some people just like to remember the pattern. It's up to you how you wanna do it, you just need to remember. Same signs positive, different signs negatives. And this works for both multiplying and dividing, okay? Now let's move on to exponents. Exponents are just a shorthand way of writing repeated multiplication of a number to itself. So for example, we have two to the first power and there's one two. Two to the second power would then be two twos. Two to the third power, three twos. Two to the fourth, four twos. Two to the fifth, five twos. 2 to the 6th, 6 twos. 2 to the 7th, 7 twos. The 8th, 8 twos. And 9, 2 to the 9th power would be 9 twos being multiplied to each other. Okay, so the exponent tells you how many of the big whole number is being multiplied to itself. Okay, now this carries over if you have variables. So therefore, if I have two x's being multiplied, I'm gonna get x to the second power. Three x's being multiplied is x to the third power. Four x's being multiplied would be x to the fourth power, and so on and so forth. If you get something where there's a whole number in front of the x, in this case we have two x's times x, well, Remember, x by itself, it's like there's a pretend one there, right? Because it's one x. So when you're working with something like this, what you're actually doing is multiplying the two and the one together, and you get two. And then it's x times x. There's two of them, so it's going to be x to the second power. Same thing goes if there's negatives. So once again, if the x is by itself, pretend like there's a one there, and then it's gonna be negative two times one, which is negative two, and then we have an x here and an x here, two x's, so that's gonna be x squared. All right, so that reviews how to multiply and divide with positive and negative numbers and how to work with exponents. If you need further assistance with this, I highly suggest that you look at the other lesson videos. There's one specifically for exponents and one specifically for multiplying and dividing with negatives. All right, so now we can look at how to do the distributive property. Well, in this first example, there's no negatives, but we do have two x's being multiplied. So remember, two x's, well, let's go back. For the distributive property, it's going to be the outside number times both numbers inside the parentheses. So this is actually x times x plus x times 1. Remember, x is a number. We just don't know what the number equals, but it's a number, so we can treat it like a number. So you do the distributive property the same way you always would. Now we have two x's, so x times x would be x to the second power plus one set of x's, which is just x, and we get x squared plus x. 
One times anything is just that number, right? One times a million is a million. One times two is two. Well, one times x is just x. Okay? Let's look at another example. Now here we have a negative x being multiplied. So, outside number with each of the numbers on the inside. So that's going to give us negative x times a positive x plus a negative x times a positive 1. Once again, we have two x's here. So, if and then remember, if there's nothing in front of the x's, that means there's a 1. So this is actually a negative 1 times a positive 1, which equals negative 1. And then we have 2x's, so that's going to be x to the second power, plus 1 times negative x, which is just going to be negative x. Now, it's not proper to leave that 1 there, because if you just have 1x squared, you would just write x squared. So this is going to be a negative x squared. And if you're adding a negative, what you're actually doing is subtracting that number. So our answer is going to equal negative x squared minus x. Another way you can remember that you're actually subtracting that number is if you have this scenario where there's a plus and a minus together only separated by parentheses, think of it like multiplying and dividing negatives. You have a positive and a negative, so that makes a negative, and we end up with negative x. All right, let's try the next one. Once again, outside number with each of the numbers inside the parentheses. So that's going to give us a negative 2x times x. This time it's a minus inside the parentheses, so minus negative 2x times 1. Remember, there's like this imaginary 1 there, so negative 2 times 1 is just going to be negative 2. An x times an x is going to be x to the second power minus, and we have a 1 times a negative 2, so it's going to be a negative 2x. Now, once again, we have two signs separated by a parenthesis, so that's two negatives, and two negatives give us a positive. So our final answer is going to be negative 2x plus 2x. I'm sorry, negative 2x squared plus 2x, and that's our answer. Okay, let's do another one. Now we have 3x times x and 3x times 2. So once again, 3x times x minus 3x times 2. And I'm getting that minus because there's the minus. So, 2x's make x squared, 3 times 1 is just 3, so it's going to be 3x squared minus 2 times 3 is 6, and there's just 1x, so 2 sets of 3x's is going to equal 6x's, and that's our answer. 3x squared minus 6x. Okay? Now, what happens if not only you have a number with a variable on the outside, but you also have one on the inside? So you still do it the same way. It's going to be the outside number times the inside, two numbers. So that's going to give us negative 5x. Oops. Negative 5x times negative 2x minus, because we have this minus here, negative 5x times 1. Okay? So, a negative times a negative equals a positive. So, five, negative 5 times negative 2 is going to actually equal a positive 10. Then we have our two x is being multiplied, so that's going to be x to the second power, minus negative 5x times 1, which is just negative 5x. We have two negatives now separated by parentheses, so that's going to give us an answer of 10x squared 
plus, because two negatives give you a positive, 5x. So 10x squared plus 5x. Okay, and let's take a look at one more. Now, not only do we have a variable with a number and then variables inside, but now different exponents. And notice now we have three different types of numbers in the parentheses, and that's okay because you still do it the same way. The distributive property just means that whatever the outside number is is gonna multiply with every number inside the parentheses. So instead of having two things, we're just gonna have three, okay? So the first one's gonna be negative four x times x squared plus negative four x times 3x minus negative 4x times 2. And now I just have to multiply them. In the first one, a negative 4 times 1 would just be negative 4. Now be careful because here we have 1x and then x squared means that there's two x's for this one. So all together, there's going to be three x's, so that's gonna be x to the third power. Plus, we have a negative times a positive, so negative four times a positive three is gonna give us a negative 12. We have one, two x's, so that's gonna be x to the second power. Minus, once again, we have a negative times a positive, a negative four times a positive 2. So that's going to give us negative 8x, right? Two sets of negative 4x's is going to be negative 8x's. Now we look at, at our signs so we can get rid of the parentheses. We have 4x to the third power. A positive and a negative give you a negative. 12x to the second power and two negatives gives you a positive. So it's going to be plus 8x, and that is the answer. So that's how you work with distributive property when you have negatives and when you have exponents, okay? And as always, if you have additional questions or need additional assistance, feel free to make an appointment with me for office hours. Hope you have a great day. Bye.